Screw it, let's try some Lapras. So we'll be Guard, Spoon, mm, and then I guess it's Stacking or Incense, right? If I want damage or Anti-Heal. I mean, if we had Draft, it'd be a lot easier to pick, right? I'm gonna go Parrot, or not Parish, Water Pulse. I don't know what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go Water Pulse, Ice Beam, or Bubble Beam, but we'll, we'll see. You could run it on some All-Rounders too, for sure. The tankier All-Rounders, where you would normally run Focus, the Guard won't be that bad. But just remember, the Guard Shield is based on your max HP. So characters with higher max HP naturally are going to do better with it, right? Where is the quarterback? The quarterback only comes out when my trio cures are being redacted, and this trio cure, they, they, they seem to be okay. What I do for Mean Lug Umbreon? I think Mean Lug Umbreon is just better stated as a support. I think I'd play X V Sure Guard Cookie, and then the cookie could be flexible for other items, but probably that, that's probably the build I'd play. I like the uh, Eat Eaters sling together. It's fun. Story behind the quarterback, Machamp. I'll have to save it for a day where I'm playing quarterback. I'm not stacking, right? Nope. Huh? He popped X attack and tried to water gun it. What the? Your battle item, bud. X speed, okay. Oh, my torchic doesn't die behind their pad, and we can just do the mid farm in a reasonable amount of time. Guys, what if I just play focus band though? Super Bowl Sunday, we play 100% quarterback. Not to play some quarterback on Super Bowl Sunday. Well, this is not gonna go well. They're gonna get yanked top. Surprise! I'm back. I don't know. I just got regained bottom, I guess. All right, we just have to suffer into Absol for a bit because it is grossly ahead. He entered. A couple of important things I did into Absol there, guys. Is one. Hold on. Let's work on this thing. Okay. So one, I didn't hit it when it was sucker punching. Because if you hit Absol while it's in the sucker punch animation, it'll do more damage and stun you. And two, I made sure when the Absol had pursued it, that I turned around so he wouldn't be able to hit my back. Because it does more damage if he hits you from the back. But if you time yourself to face forward instantly, you won't uh, you won't take that bonus damage, and it's a lot of damage. Hey, okay. I got decided he didn't want to live anymore. M9 swing on top. No objectives being hit top. I see them pull the top objective, I will I'll ult up. They're probably gonna pull it here. Let's just go. Yeah, I'll still rotate it down. Wish I could pan my camera. I'm gonna stand in this to help tank it. Okay, let's just back go bottom now. I don't want to push for this. With no HP. Is it optimal to avoid fights when focus man is down? I have this dilemma where I avoid fights until it comes back up and it's killing your presence in the game. You just have to make good decisions. And I know that's like really easy to just say, but 
Some fights, yeah, you shouldn't take when your focus man is down. But you can't just avoid every fight when focus man is down either. Oh, I missed my bubble beam. I saw. Yo, imagine the liquidation nerf was actually a liquidation buff into Lapras. Because the Lapras takes less damage if it's a certain percentage HP of your total HP. But what if the liquidation does less damage overall? So it bypasses the passive now, effectively doing more damage. I'm not saying that's the case, but I'm saying that's a possibility. Yeah, see, I did it there. They did it again, but they just have their whole team here now. I'm gonna farm my Unite back. The problem with this build and why I like to go Ice Beam normally is you farm a lot slower, but Ice Beam helps you farm faster because it does more damage. Might have a lower cooldown too. I'm gonna get this blue and then ult. Push it, push it. Everyone for themselves. Alright. What the heck? I didn't get the cap. I'm not sure how one liquidation take was doing 10% to Lapras. I mean, maybe it was. You know, you don't know that. Oh, I didn't get it there. Alright. It's fine, though. 1v3 situation, I get a kill. I'm down. It's kind of hard to not proc sucker though, because, you know, water pulse is ticking. All right, we're 13. We have Unite. I'm gonna jump through top side, just because someone might try to back up. My Clef dies out there. It's really bad, actually. They don't really have a good flip comp, though. He's double team. He actually ran in as a melee character there, but a demon. Took all his life though, so whatever. My Dodrio died solo to an Espeon. Okay, at least we traded. Missed. I'm gonna run him down though. I get surfed. My team is rotating. I'm looking at my mini map. I don't want to be in this fight though. We're ahead, so we definitely don't need to do it. We can do it a little to pull them in though, obviously. Nice, uh, good spot to liquidate. My cleft doesn't know that I'm low, I guess. That will never get to me. We can do it here, honestly. We don't even have to though. We got another cap. But all five are dead, so... Why not? Dead left. Alright! These Lapras waves are so clean, except for the one where I whiffed on uh, Inteleon. Pretty good Lapras game. I mean, the guard item is just... broken. Guard on Follow Me Clef. Okay, I'm gonna do an Ender University on it to help explain this, but characters that aren't doing consistent damage in teamfights 
are gonna struggle with the guard item. So the melee characters that can do consistent damage in team fights, you know, Lapras has like water pulse, Blastoise has, you know, pump or spout, whatever you're gonna go. Mammal maybe has icicle crash. Range characters like Hoopa and Eld can just do it with their autos. All these characters can proc guard pretty easily, right? But how is a Clef gonna proc guard? Like you have to follow me in and get a basic attack in and follow me is already giving you a massive shield. So that shield's probably gonna get wasted anyways. It seems like a pretty bad item for Clef. So I would avoid it on Clef. Blissey with Egg Bomb is like, eh. I feel like you might not be able to get good uptime on it. It's possible, but I probably would avoid it on Blissey as well. Eld, Hoopa though, both range characters, I think it's solid on. Comfy, I think you could mess around with it, especially with Sweet Kiss, it's not bad. Um, and then most of the defenders have damaging moves. So it's fine on them as well. But yeah, I mean, no stacking Lapras, 80k damage. We'll take that. Can't wait for them to def nerf defenders instead of this item, then nerf the item anyway. I don't see that happening, at least anytime soon. They're really hesitant on nerfing items. Spoon was way more of an impactful item than this was, and it lasted like almost a year without getting any nerfs. And even the nerf that it did get was pretty inconsequential.